Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna show you how to update the boot animations to be able to load in the new boot 9 strap or C hacks for the Nintendo 3DS. You know, with these new updates, ARM 9 loader hacks is is no longer uh, will not be supported in the future by Luma by the Luma custom firmware. So many people are uh, already updating their their Nintendo 3DS but for some of them one of the reasons to not do that is because there was no clear way to to have these uh, build animations that we love so this tutorial is how to recover those build animations that I already covered in a previous video for R9 loader hacks so this is how uh, we will load the same animations, this time on boot 9 strap or C hacks. Okay, first things first, you need a um, Nintendo 3DS that is already running uh, Luma 7.1, uh, that means that it's already hacked with boot 9 strap and a 3DS that is able to run uh, that firm files. Also, this tutorial is proved to work on Nintendo 3DS XL, that's the old Nintendo 3DS XL, and the new Ni Nintendo 3DS XL. Uh, sadly, I don't have the, the old Nintendo 3DS, the small one, so I don't know, I can check if the resolution of the videos and the animations using this uh, can play or, or can load in the in those systems if someone can confirm that it will be great so let's get started here on the right i have the nintendo 3ds sd card and on the left i have the files you must download it will be in the description down below uh, i will use a uh, put ctr 9 as the main loader for the animations uh, you can check on github uh, and in the description I will be linking the, the source of this material I'm just using it of a simple way to, to load the animations that's basically what I want to do so first thing you want to note is that on this folder I already prepared some animations for you to use some of Evangelion, uh, Gamecube, Playstation and many others you can check them uh, and what you want to do is uh, copy the contents of, of this folder, the anim folder. If you have already uh, one anim folder from my previous video or whatever, you can delete or, or merge the folders. For simplicity, I will delete that one in the 3DS and I will copy the new one with the animations I already prepared for you. They are not that heavy. I compress them so they don't use a lot of your space and after that we will we will chain this this payload as we did with the arm 9 so I will grab these two files copy and paste as you can see you already have a boot uh, firm that's the most probable scenario so we will not overwrite it what we want to do is to load both of them so we will rename one we will rename the one already in the SD card and we will load it with the new one so if we open this configuration file here we can see that we can uh, configure what uh, payload to load so what are so what we will do is rename the payload that is already on our SD card for uh, whatever name you want to put in here I will use this to make it simple I will save it and I will rename the boot firm file boot payload I already have so rename 
you can do it with the F2 key or rename and after that we can go ahead and copy these two files I will delete this one just uh, so you can see that you should copy these two files and and everything will be smooth there they are we are almost done but before going to the 3ds I want to show you that I edited I changed some of the delay times that the config file comes by uh, from the github so if you experiment some kind of issue you can change that back adding the semicolon or well, or or simply change it the value to from zero to to one thousand and you can see that I can also change the path of the animation I make a typo on that Evangelion folder so I can change that path and uh, update that splash image path so that this payload that we will be able to run finds the actual animation that we already copied so in this step what we are doing is linking the new payload with the folders that contains our animation so this step is very important uh, sadly we will have to manually update this path every time we want to change the animation so that kind of sucks in comparison what we had before the, which was uh, a random uh, uh, a random animation depending on whatever we put on that folder this time we will have to update this path every time we want to change the animation uh, so be clear about that I will copy this uh, string so that uh, you can load the Evangelion animation once you download these files so I will go here and replace this line by the way this, these are the files you will download so uh, by default you will be loading that Evangelion connection animation but you can change that uh, that path and load whatever animation you want also you can download more and increase the, the quantity of animations you have I will put uh, 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 the the official thread where you can download more of those animations with this said I think we are ready to go and test it on the 3ds so I will close this and eject the SD card back on the 3ds we put the SD card and simply start it to watch our animation uh, as, I, as I said in the previous video the shorter that the animation is the better because you will not have a big delay uh, when booting your 3ds uh, at the end of the day you want it to, to boot fast so be careful with the with the animations you are you are using as a final note I will leave the configuration I have in Luma 7.1 for those who are curious well I hope you enjoyed I hope this uh, did work on your 3ds and see you next time